Hello everyone! This time I've prepared quite intense PvP match between me, AI Headhunter and none other than Mr. Whitera. So let's start the game. It was a ladder game, so it's not very important match. But I would say we, we both played a nice game. And of course I managed to win, that's why I'm bragging about this replay. I'm very proud of not only playing with Whitera, but even defeating him. So. Uh, the map is the Shakuras Plateau and this is a very good map for Blink Observer builds and I'm gonna play one of those and I'm gonna play a precise build that was invented by Roxkis Freyr I basically stolen, has, have stolen his build uh, and it is mm, the different, main difference between his build and the standard builds uh, is that first I make uh, two probes on each mineral and after that I'm gonna rally my probes into my first gas. So I, in the beginning I have lower amount of gas. That's why I'm gonna make double zealot instead of zealot stalker. And, but, and that then I'm gonna make free gateways, twilight, uh, etc. So it, everything add, adds up uh, eventually. I think it's a very good build for Blink Observer because you have a lot of minerals and uh, it's really good, that's why I'm playing it. So uh, I scouted my main, I'm gonna scout the mutual position for the proxy gates. Uh, proxy gates can also be in my main, that's, that's why I scouted there, because even though this is a free player map, uh, you can still, um, still send two scouting probes, check the mineral from the side and then you will know if your opponent is there or not and he won't see you so you can make proxy gates in his uh, in his main right now you can see i have two probes on each mineral i'm not gonna scout uh, his position on the map and i'm rallying my probes into gas he's trying to disrupt my mineral mining he's not uh, he has not been successful until now uh, now my probes are a little bit uh, messed up so i have to manually uh, resend them to the correct mineral. I'm making my zealot. Uh, there should be a chrono boost on my first zealot. Uh, it's slightly delayed because <laughs> I was watching his probe. <laughs> so his harass basically is already working. Uh, I'm gonna make my second guess. Uh, originally, Freyr uh, rallied up probes uh, to the first and also to the second guess but he ch changed it shortly after because the amount of gas was quite low so uh, when the second assimilator is finished I'm gonna send all three probes there uh, as you can see second zealot is on the way I'm gonna send both uh, on the map to have some map control I'm gonna secure the towers on the Shakuras plateau if you control both towers uh, nothing can, can get uh, through, through, your, through your defense basically, through your vision. Uh, I'm also sending a probe because I want to make a fake aggression. With the Freyr build you, can, you can't make a good aggression because you spend, you're spending your corner boost on other things than warp gate. So basically you won't have warp gate uh, fast enough to make some free gate happen. But as you can see I uh, used the shadow uh, on the Xelnaga so his stalker couldn't hit me and I by bypassed him with my probe so I can easily uh, make pylon under his ramp and fake aggression this is very good f for me uh, so maybe I can even let the pylon finish and try to wipe some units there because uh, so far I took no damage and I have a good proxy pylon but he has three stalkers he, uh, he will kill my zealot and damage my stalker so I'm running away I'm running away uh, my third gateway is a little bit delayed that, that's uh, that's a mistake but right now I'm again using the shadow so my two stalkers and one zealot could uh, could quite easily defend against his three stalkers and he missed my crowd a little bit and lost uh, one stalker more that was necessary so it was a good trade for me and I'm in a good position to make some pressure even though I'm researching blink and making robo and I'm making a lot of probes as you can see uh, well he has more probes right now but that's okay 
because I'm making the pressure. Uh, what I'm doing right now is uh, selecting my zealots individually and targeting uh, each one of his stalkers. Uh, that means he has to uh, micro each stalker individually against the zealots, which is impossible. Log it, log it, logically, it's impossible. So he lost already one stalker in his main. He wasn't looking at the other stalkers, so my one stalker pulled away his two stalkers, which is very good for me, and I can do some probe damage. Right now, I'm setting my zealot to hold position, because if he holds position his probes, my zealots were, wouldn't be attacking. But if I hold position too, they were attacking. And I killed some probes, we can check that, I killed five probes, that's a good amount. Uh, and I lost a stalker, that was really unnecessary. Uh, because uh, I could run away mm, if I didn't make a turn so early, I could save the stalker. But this is a quite good position for me. We can check the workers. I have a lead four probes, so my aggression was wasn't planned. It was uh, improvisation, and it end, uh, ended up uh, quite well. The supplies are even, but I have all the tech I need, I have blink, I have even immortal if he blinks into my main, main unexpectedly, uh, so I can defend. And I'm feeling pretty good. And he did, he blinked in my main, I didn't expect, and he targeted one stalker, I didn't blink it in him in time, but I blinked my other stalker, so I lost only one stalker, killed one stalker, and killed an, an observer, so it ended up uh, very good for me again. I'm preparing for a blinking in his main because I saw uh, he ran away in the middle of the map. That means uh, he he will be out of position if I blink in his main and I uh, I will kill some probes, that's guaranteed. So I need to do this as soon as possible and I even be able to catch another observer. That's really great because blink against blink in PvP is uh, about sniping observers. And I made some nice probe kills. I tried to kill a pylon also, but he already blinked in his main. I have to run away. No losses. It was a very successful move from me. But I scouted. Uh, he already has Nexus. So I have to punish him some more. Because he's trying to get an economical advantage. So I have to keep the pressure on and do some additional damage. I'm sending all of my army... Uh, you know, near him. I'm gonna pick one pylon first and he blinked down. This wasn't a good move from him because his blink, is, his blink is on cooldown. I can blink my stalker, save him and I killed two of his stalkers. So that was really good for me and I feel really comfortable even though I'm making an, an expansion I can, I can make a even bigger attack than just blinking in his main and do some harassment. So I'm gonna blink in his main once again to pull the army to his main from the expansion. And nothing is there, so I'm gonna finish the pylon and kill some probes. Right now I'm deciding if I blink to the no man's land or to the center of the map. And I blink in the center of the map, it will cost me one stalker more, but I can... Uh, go with the rest of my army to his expansion and force field his ramp. I have sentry that has 200 of mana. But he blinked down and I wasn't looking, kill the sentry. So I put one more force field. This will get me another 15 seconds. And I secure a quite a good position, uh, concave, under his ramp. And there's the GG. Oh, we already seeing that my supply is twice as high. And this move won me the game. So thanks for watching. Uh, you can subscribe if you like this and hopefully see you next time.